Okay, RBE families, I'm going to apologize right now for the very crummy quality of this video. Just trying to make this quickly for you guys so you can get your kiddos iPad up and going today. So you're going to go to settings right here. You're going to open up that app. You're going to go under general, scroll to the bottom where you see reset, tap reset, and you are, again, the reflection in here is so bad, I'm so sorry. You're gonna select erase all content and settings. That one is very important, erase all content and settings. You're gonna confirm erase, erase again, and let your iPad completely wipe itself. Okay, now that your student's iPad has rewiped or has wiped itself, excuse me, we're gonna set it back up. So on this screen, you're gonna see all these greetings in different languages. Just press the home button, select English, select United States, and then on this screen, you're gonna go down and you're gonna select set up manually. Here you will see your various um, home Wi-Fi networks. So you will need to select the one that is yours and enter the password here. Once you've entered in your network, your home Wi-Fi password, you're going to select join. And then you'll give it a second for it to populate and put a check mark next to the one that you selected. Once you have your check mark, you're going to select next. You'll see this message on the screen. So just be patient while this um, spins and does its job to set up your activation of your student iPad. It will slide over to this configuration screen and then go to remote management. So once you're at the remote management screen, please select next. This is where you will see the username and password. This is your student's school username and their school password that you will find located on that white form we gave you at drive through night. So enter in their credentials here. Once you have entered in their credentials, please go ahead and tap next at the top of the screen and then just give it a few minutes, a few seconds to install the configuration from Columbia Public Schools. On the location services screen, you want to select enable. Here you will select continue and then you will select get started. Your setup of resetting up your student's iPad should be complete and you should have success at this point as the apps that we have already pushed out to you load. When you see the self-service app, you can see on this iPad it's loading. That's where you'll go back into self-service and pull your apps that your teacher indicated you would need. For example, Zoom, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drive, etc. Class Link is loading here, which is really great. Class Link, self-service, those are the two main apps that you will definitely need. Inside Class Link, you will be able to get to Schoology to um, Capstone for e-reading, to ST Math, so on and so forth. Please feel free to email me any questions you might have. I will be at school by 7.30 a.m. tomorrow in the front lobby to help troubleshoot any issues you might encounter while doing this. Thank you guys so much for your patience. We have amazing families. Thank you.